everybody, this is Praxis, and today it's myself and my dad working on site. My dad is upstairs, just behind, you can see his boot hanging down. He's working on the last three of the posts that uh, go upstairs, and I'm working on this area that's going to be kind of the main bathroom of the house. There's another bathroom that's directly below it, but we're going to try to use this one for pretty much everything because all the water that gets used in this bathroom is going to be able to be collected in a storage tank downstairs, uh, and then that can be used for flushing toilets, uh, pretty much just that, flushing toilets, and any excess that we have is going to go out to the greenhouse over there. Any of the water use that occurs down in the bathroom below this one, it just it was kind of impractical to try to you know collect that stuff. So this is really going to be the bathroom that we're going to be using most of the time, unless you need to use a toilet, in which case you'd want to use the bathroom downstairs because that has all the gray water access. So there's going to be a lot of like, there's going to be a whole list of rules written on all the toilets to make sure that people you know use them properly. But yeah, just watch out the camera is uh, dangerously positioned right at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, so my goal today really is, is to try to use up as much stuff as I possibly can. Uh, we've got all these piles of lumber and they're getting in the way of doing things because they're, they're really long, they're running through what needs to be walls later. So I'm just trying to use up as much material as I possibly can. And this area seemed like a good place to start because we only got to shift this pile of lumber down just a, a couple of feet to get it out of the way of where this wall is going to be. We got to use up all this plywood. We're putting plywood underneath the bathroom floor. And the reason for that is we're going to be putting tile down. And if you're running tile over these kind of tongue and groove boards, the tongue and groove boards can kind of move and flex, and that would crack your tile work. So I've got three quarter inch plywood that I'm putting down. I'm getting ready to notch it around these posts. And uh, all these boards, uh, the plywood pieces, they've got a little bit of a crown to them. And I'm facing, I'm not sure the way that it's supposed to be uh, said, but it's a, like a frown instead of a smile. So that it kind of bumps up in the middle. And the reason for that is so that as, I, as I'm attaching it down, the corners are being forced down. If you had it the other way, like a smile, it, you know, you can screw it down, but then the corners are always going to be trying to pull up. So I'm putting it down this way. I'm going to cut the pieces to size, drop them in, and then hopefully we'll be able to use quite a bit of wall sheathing boards, quite a few two by fours, just getting this area uh, put together. And the reason I can do this one here is because it runs right over a center beam of the house. Uh, the floors here aren't slumped or anything. I can work here without any concern for you know whether or not we're going to be able to fix floors later because they're perfect right now as they are. So that's it for today. Uh, yesterday I shot a video but I wasn't able to really use it. Here's a image from it. Uh, you can see it was a little bit foggy. The camera was left in the car and when I brought it in, uh, it's humid in here. It's really comfortable uh, with the heaters going and the camera just fogged up and it was just you know, I know that the, the, the standards of my viewing audience on this channel are really low, obviously, that just makes sense because this is my channel, but it just that one just went beyond where I thought it was really useful because you couldn't really see much of anything. Uh, but the point of that video was that we finished the room upstairs, and you can kind of see some of it right through this area over here. That room is finished for carpentry, it needs wiring and all that kind of stuff, but the basic carpentry on that room is completely finished, and that's the first one, so that was what yesterday's video was about. That's it. Thanks for watching.